currently working November 6347 Charlie. His name is Devin Miller, uh, the pilot of this aircraft. He is currently in an emergency situation. His throttle is stuck. Are you, uh, are you on, is he in the in flight? Yes, he is in flight. Uh-oh, okay. 6347 Charlie, we're going to declare an emergency. Uh, I have no throttle control. Throttle control. I'm uh, 25 inches of pressure and I cannot reduce throttle. 047 Charlie Roger and uh, say intentions and uh, passengers on board. Uh, we have four souls on board and uh, I'm trying to see if I can get uh, any kind of control here of the throttle. Uh, playing with uh, any levers that I can. Uh, and we have uh, two and a half hours still in rating. Okay, we'll show uh, two and a half hours of fuel. And you said, a, a, is it a stuck throttle then, or is it? I remember the stuck throttle, 47 Charlie. You're 47 Charlie, Roger. And uh, well, I can give you the option of your present heading or uh, maneuvers as needed. And uh, are you able to climb at all so we can keep you on the uh, radar display here? Affirmative, uh, we can climb, 47 Charlie. Number 47 Charlie, climb, maintain 5,000, and uh, we'll just uh, uh, keep me uh, keep me advised on the uh, the status of that. We'll just show present heading for now. If you need something else, advice. Roger that. And in case I do get the, uh, in case I do get control, I'd like to probably just maneuver around the field, 47 Charlie, with a wide orbit. Roger. Uh, anybody down there have any options for us other than uh, power off landing? We're gonna see if we can get in contact with Piper and see if they've got someone that uh, that has a suggestion on that. In the uh, meantime, we'll just try to find the longest runway in the area if, that, uh, if that'll help you. I got an inbound. Currently uh, eight miles to the south of the field. Mm -hmm. uh, Piper 6347 Charlie, mm -hmm. he's declared an emergency. He's got a stuck throttle. Um, right now he's doing an eight mile arc around, uh, uh, correction, a three mile arc around the uh, key field at uh, 5,000 and uh, trying to shoot, I believe he's trying to shoot the visual. So okay. He, he, he's just staying with us for now. He's he's trying to sh troubleshoot right now and he, eventually he will be the uh, a visual approach. But for now we're just hanging on to him to see if he can troubleshoot that throttle. Okay, and any idea how much fuel on board, souls on board? Um, I'm not aware of that information. I'll, I'll call you back whenever I get that. Okay, okay. Right. That's right. Hey, Ray. Hey, my name is Brad, and I'm my frontline manager at Memphis Center. We're currently working November 6, 3, 4, 7, Charlie. His name is Devin Miller, uh, the pilot of this aircraft. He is currently in an emergency situation. His throttle is stuck. Okay. And we were hoping maybe you could um, potentially walk us through uh, anything that we could do to get his throttle unstuck. Are you, uh, are you on, is he in the in flight? Yes, he is in flight. Uh-oh, okay. Uh, copy it. Our 6347 Charlie, we've got your mechanic on the uh, phone. He wants to know if it's physically stuck to where it won't move or if it's moving without a, any uh, reaction. Moving without any reaction, and I can't get the gear horn uh, when I get it down to the uh, retard position. Uh, copy, it's, it is moving, but no reaction, and you said you're, you are getting the gear horn? Uh, fully retarded, I do get the gear horn for the Roger. It is moving, but no reaction. So it's fully retarded against the gear. It's fully retarded against the gear horn. Okay. Um, the only thing I could tell him there is he's in flight. He, he may have to cut, um, come in for a landing and use his mixture to, to uh, turn the engine off. To turn the engine off, he said. That's the only thing I could I could recommend at that point. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's the only thing I could think of. There's not much that we could do because you know. When that cable breaks, it's, it's designed to go to full throttle. 347 Charlie, what the mechanic's saying is it sounds like the cable may be broken, that uh, that you can uh, kill the mixture um, but uh, and try to manipulate the throttle as much as possible for the RPMs, but um, okay. adjust the on standby. Can't, okay, he can't drop the gear because he's too fast. So that's the other issue that we got. Can we? Can we? Is there a way to drop the gear, um, maybe manually or something, without having to worry about that? So his, 
he's going too fast to drop the gears. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah, he's gonna have to slow the airplane down, um, and and get to his gear speed and just drop the gear. The gear's gonna free fall. And he's saying if you're able to adjust the RPMs with the propeller, you may be able to uh, not have to kill the engine. Uh, Roger that. We're uh, at full throttle. That's going to be pretty tough. Roger. And our 47 Charlie, uh, what Ray is saying is that that is um, pretty much the only alternative in this situation that is designed uh, by design. It goes to full throttle when the cable breaks. Oh, Roger that. I'm just... Uh... We're looking to see if we can dismantle the controls out here. See if we can visually see anything, and uh, if not, we will likely have to do that. Boys of the This is Kiwani. Uh, I'm just verifying for the uh, emergency. What what type of emergency uh, do you have? Emergency equipment do you have on the field? Do you have a fire uh, rescue? Affirmative. We have complete fire and rescue. Yep. Okay. We were just checking to make sure. Yep. Okay. Thank you. No update yet. And so, do you have emergency services at Key Field? Near 47, Charlie Sagan. What do we have for emergency services at Key Field? Yes, sir, they've already been notified. Under that best case scenario, we will be uh, shut down, obviously, on the runway. Roger. All right, spoke with Ray, and uh, we got the quadrant authority. I don't think that there's going to be much that we're going to do. Uh, we're going to prepare for a power off landing. Uh, currently on uh, kind of on, on a right upwind here, but uh, best wind still favoring uh, one zero. Is that or, uh, runway zero one? Uh, it's uh, last I looked, it was variable at five. Uh, 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 looks like two one five eight. Zulu METAR showing zero 09 or zero 06, but the other uh, towers uh, uh, land in runway one and four. Obviously, you're going to want one. Also, just an in information on that, the uh, the PAPIs, the one, are currently un are unusable. All right, roger that. And uh, just verify, uh, just let, let me know when you're ready to come in and if you do have the uh, field insight. Yeah, we're still going to field. We're going to insight. I'm going to uh, set up for downwind on runway one. Uh, probably take it out about five miles, and uh, we'll see what we can do. I'm looking down this uh, this descent. We'll take our time on tugging down. We probably have to get tugged off. The only other thing that uh, just to be advised is we can make sure it's clear. If we miss, and uh, I need to come back alive with the engine, I want to be coming out pretty quick. Air traffic, West Vegas. Yeah, hey, this is Brad in the center. How you doing? Hey, Brad. Hey, man, reference this uh, 4-7 Charlie. Do you guys have crash vehicles there on site you can scramble? We do. Okay. Just waiting for him to come in and declare his emergency, and they're prepared and ready to scramble. Excellent. He is about to come in. He's he planning on doing a five-mile uh, downwind to runway one. He's cleared for visual approach. His misapproach instructions are going to be climbing out runway heading to 4,000. Okay. Uh, and... My uh, my defect controller is calling you right now, so you can go ahead and get this emergency vehicle standing by. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Crash on now. Appreciate it.